always that is excited? Um, with treats, yeah. With treats. Hi, Neil. Good boy. Good boy. Um, so my first golden rule is that you only ever want to say his name positively. Good boy. <laughs> you can't tell him no, but just refrain from using his name. Okay. Switching to a positive tone, like Leo over here. People are so surprised at how quick that changes. When dogs are like barking at the window or something, yeah. at dogs going by or whatever, it's just our natural like instinct to be like, no, don't do that, Leo, no. Yeah. And then I always say like, what's more motivating? You saying no over here or that thing that's outside the window? Right. You always wanna be more motivating than anything else. And that's why I'm totally fine with like using treats in the beginning of training, you know, luring him into the position you want him to get in, giving him that motivation to come to you. Okay. And then we'll wean off of the treats in a way that like his same focus will be ingrained. Okay. So I always like start out with the command of just their name. So like Leo should mean like, look at me or come to me and praise him anytime that he does. So that's really overlooked, you know, it's oh, people yeah. just expect like Leo and don't praise him, but you should. Cause you want that very quick look like anytime you say Leo, you want him to think it means like treat, praise, uh -huh. always a good thing. So quick look, no matter what. A lot of times like when you want to say no to, you can just use their name. Like if he's going for something you don't want him going to, again, you say no, he's gonna be like, I gotta get it, I better go faster then and get it. Yeah. Um, but if you're like Leo, he's like, oh wait, something better over this way. Oh, so just using okay. that is really good. If he's like ever off leash somewhere and there's another dog or a squirrel or whatever else that you don't want him going to that he's like focused on, if you say Leo come, like no matter what tone you use there, if sometimes his na name is a negative thing, he's gonna look at you like, am I in trouble? Is this a good thing? I'm not gonna chance it and I'm gonna go over here. Okay, okay so my second golden rule is to not take positive reinforcement for granted. It sounds very simple. You know, you praise him for what he's doing right, for what you want him to repeat. Yeah. But oftentimes as dog owners, and especially as puppy owners, like we feed into the negative behaviors a lot more than positive. When he's chewing on the couch, we're very quick to let him know that's not right. When he's chewing on his toy over here, just on his own, it's yeah. like, oh, thank goodness. Yeah. You know, I didn't have to correct him, but we don't tell him like, yeah. yes, that's the right thing, good boy. Anytime he's sitting there just focusing up on you, do not overlook that. Just like this, like if you're out, you know, and he's just focused on you, yeah reward him for it and tell him that's what you want. Yeah, so it's just you really being aware that he is just sitting there doing nothing. If you have him always focusing on you like this, you can get him to do anything and you can prevent him from doing anything. And focus is something that you can uh, teach and extend too. Okay. So it's kind of the same thing with like self-control. Mm -hmm. We can teach him to sit here and focus for like, and have self-control to just stay there for like, we could go up to like hours. Yeah but you have to work up to that. That was good. So his focus attention span is at about eight seconds. Oh, good. Very good. Typically before training, it's at like two to three. Try to do it for nine seconds. Yeah? Yes. He thinks that he needs to like sit on my lap. Oh, he wants all attention the time, all the and time. Then give in to him. The most important rule for getting your dog to listen to you the first time, every single time, and that's to not repeat a command. When you tell him to sit, you should not ever repeat that sit. Owners will say it like three to five times before the dog actually sits. I've seen people say it like up to 10 times and you just don't even realize it. If I say sit five times before he actually sits, the next time I command him to sit, he's going to think I don't have to sit until I'm told five times. Oh. Or let's see how many times she'll say it before just giving up. Mm -hmm. What do you do when he doesn't sit, you know, or doesn't listen to yeah. your command if you can't repeat it? What you can repeat is his name or any kind of sound 
to refocus his attention. Basically, you could do anything you want other than repeating the command. So I like to use the kissy sound, just going. Dogs really respond well to that. Like, remember up here. As long as you have his focus like this, all it takes is patience and reinforcing the hand gesture. Oh. And right there, a lot of people would would say it multiple, multiple right. times. Yeah. So it's just patience on your end is the hardest thing. Okay. You're obviously not gonna sit here like forever just with the hand gesture. So that's where it's like, Leo, Leo, hey, we're here. <laughs> Try to refocus him again. Yes, good boy. If I'm sitting here like this, trying to get his attention, if that's not getting him, you can go and like shake the treat bag or whatever well. If that still doesn't work, what you can do is go show him what you have, lure him back to where you're calling him, just so that he knows that you're gonna follow through with it. Last case, pick him up or leash him yeah. and bring him to that spot. Just like, so he knows whatever it takes, I'm gonna you know, make you do okay. what I asked you to do. Yeah. Once he sits, you click and give him a treat. So he associates like that clicking sound with a reward. Okay. You know, people will say, well, now he only listens to me if I'm holding a treat. And that's because people do it that way. Well, if your boss one day was just like, I'm not gonna pay you for your job anymore, like what motivation would you have to do yeah. it? You're like, no thanks. Yeah. So after he does it, for the beginning stage of training, um, you just wanna tell him yes and give him a treat so that he thinks that yes is a reward. Oh. If you don't have treats on you, to let him know that he still did the right thing. Yes, up, yes, down, yes, up, yes, down. Puppy push-ups, he's so good at it. Good job. You have to redirect to the appropriate behavior. And there's a reason behind why he's doing what he's doing with every single bad behavior. Chewing on things, if he's chewing on a shoe, dogs forever have a need to chew. So a lot of people are quick just to say, no, don't do that. And don't think about why he's doing it. No, you don't chew on that shoe. This is what you chew on. So that he knows like, okay, I have this need to chew. Instead of going and finding whatever's there, go to what he's always redirected to. This is full self-control. Sitting here, looking up at me, focus on me. The more excited he gets, the further he is from self-control. You wanna to try to keep it here all the time. So when you were asking about like the rough playing and all that, what I would say is, you know, Dogs don't just know self-control on their own. He's not going to think on his own, like, the more excited he gets, excited he gets, like, oh shit, I'm getting really excited. I need yeah. to, like, control myself. The difference between stay and wait, this is where a lot of people get confused, too, and it's really important to know the difference. What wait is, is, like, hold yourself together for just a little bit, and then on my release word, I'm gonna tell you and you can go. Stay is... You stay here, I'm gonna go and do something, and then come back, and you're gonna stay here the entire time. Sit, yes. Again, I'm only gonna say wait one time. Okay. That was amazing, good boy! You get a full one for that, okay. Leo, wait. So if he goes for it, I'm just gonna pull it back. Start with like that. Leave it. Yes, good. I'm gonna have a treat in each hand. Oh. There you go. Show on this one and say leave it. He's gonna sniff at it. Yes, the second that he stops sniffing at it, okay. I'm gonna give him a treat from this hand. I like to give him a few seconds to kind of think about looking over here first. Yes, there's a little side <laughs> eye. <laughs> yes, good boy, Leo. Yay. 